Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Wolf and welcome back to Minecraft Stone Block. When we last left off, we were trying to make ourselves this little contraption here. We have one ender head and we have one zombie head. And we do need the rest of the heads. As you can see, I was researching heads over here. Uh, but in order for us to be, be able to use this, whoops, not that. Need to you on this. Uh, it needs to go, no, 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 not that. Uh, it needs. To, I want it to be able to make this contraption here, the Soul Binder. So we still need a skeleton head and a creeper head. And I was looking at the skeleton heads and the creeper heads. And we can use, it looks like any head here. And turn it into a skull, a skeleton skull. So I was looking in our inventory and I saw that I do have some of my own heads from our previous deaths. So I'm curious to know if we can actually take two of them. Uh, we need one for the, or excuse me, we need some, some bones for one. So we need four bones for one, whoops. And then I was looking at the other head for a creeper. Creeper head needs any head plus gunpowder. So that was, so if you're having a, a, a tough time getting your uh, getting yourself some head, uh, so some of the creature heads, then there is an alternative to crafting them. So we just take this head and put it in here. Boom. Take this one and put it in here. Hopefully this one works as well. And yes, we do now have our skeleton skull and our creeper skull, which is amazing because we could put this in here like that. And ta -da, we have our soul binder. Oh, I'm so happy for this. So let's go downstairs and let's activate this bad boy. Uh, hopefully this thing works. Boom. And we're, of course, we're going to need a capacitor for it. So why not do the best we can with it and do the same thing. So let's look up capacitor. Uh, if we're going to continue using these type of things, I might actually put it on autocraft. So what else can this thing make? Just to take a quick look. Ender IO core exchange core, basic capacitor with the battery, a wireless charger. I actually, I might actually make that uh, and make myself a battery so that way I can keep everything on my person, you know, recharged at all times using the power that we have. Uh, what else can it make? It can make the electric light, a teleporter block. So we, it probably would be in our best interest to teach the system how to make this setup. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's a cool, hey, Mr. Sheep. Uh, but I, I was looking the other day, and, uh, as you were all wondering, uh, the crafting monitor here is just to see what crafts are going on. Uh, the other one that we were wanting to make was the crafting, ma it's called a crafting manager, the thing that I was looking for. Uh, I think it's the craft, not an auto crafter, um... Crafter manager. Yeah, there it is crafter manager uh, And it just takes two crafters So I think this I think I taught the system how to make a crafter No, so I'm going to teach the system how to make a crafter just in case we need one in the future uh, I know we're supposed to be getting our squids, but I, I do want to take a small side for this and uh, Let's go ahead and start up uh, doing this so crafter. We're gonna have to make one manually, which is okay uh, construction core needs a basic, needs some basics, let's grab that, technically I think I should have left this down, there we go, put that in there, those to burn up, because it is just super fast, uh, I probably need to teach the system how to make this binder process, uh, and we're just getting all of that stuff, uh, I need, I need to figure out how to get liquids. I know refined, like, where, where's ME storage doesn't really do well with liquids. Uh, the refined storage actually does do liquids. Uh, but I'm trying to, I'm having a, a tough time trying to figure out how to get liquids into the system. So I'll have to do a little research on that. But we need a construction core like that. We'll need two advanced processors. Go ahead and cook these up. Oh man, it's so fast. Uh, and then we need a destruction core, which is that. So we should have the stuff now. Uh, we need to make one of these. Boom. And then we need to make one of these up. Oh, so we need some more quartz. Let's just make, can we make 64? Yeah, we can make 64. 
Make a whole stack. There we go. Got ourselves a crafter. Let's grab this guy. Let's go downstairs. And let's set him up. Where can we set this bad boy up? We're going to have to export tiny charcoal into him. Uh, mm, maybe we can do it right here. So I can have... I think there's a wire. Where's that wire? Is there a wire in here? No, but I can run one. So if I put this system, say... I put this there. And I can put this in behind it. Uh, I need a wrench. Uh, will this one work? Yes, this one will work. So that way, you want to make sure that the uh, <clears throat> the way the orientation is, you want to make sure that this little section, as you can see from the top, you want to make sure this section is facing into the machine. As you can see here, it just basically mimics that. Uh, let's grab some cables, which I went off camera and made some. Made a whole bunch of them, actually. We should be able to do something like that. There we go. Uh, are we doing any light blocks? Nope. Okay. We should be able just to cover that up. Actually, I don't need to cover that up. Uh, so in this, uh, we can actually teach it how to do stuff. Put that in there. Um, let's see. I need to teach the system two things. I need to teach it how to make tiny charcoal. Uh, so first off, I want to teach the system. That's over here. So I want to go wood. So I want to say one wood. I think one wood turns into one charcoal. Is that correct? That is correct. So one wood. Whoops, not two wood. One wood. And I want to go into processing. So one wood turns into one charcoal. So then we can go downstairs. And we can put this bad boy in here. Uh, yeah, the charcoal. So now anytime I, I tell the system, hey, whoops, whoops, oh, wow, I faced that door, didn't mean to do that. So now if I say, hey, can I get some charcoal, please? We should be able to, uh, what is the key binding for that? Controls, category, refined, uh, search bar, refined storage, crafter grid. Um, let's control X. Can I put it to middle click? Does that work? So charcoal. No, that doesn't work. So if we, we're not out of charcoal yet. So that's, that's okay. So what we'll do now is we'll say charcoal turns into tiny. Do I have any tiny charcoal? It turns into eight, uh, I think it's eight tiny charcoal. Let me make sure. Yes, eight tiny charcoal. So let's grab eight tiny charcoal. We'll go back up here. I'm gonna say that turns into that. Awesome. So then we can actually go downstairs. Whoops, not that far down. And we can put it in this guy here. So yeah, we can also put, whoops, I'm grabbing the chest out of there as well. It's it for some reason the 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 pattern is broken, which I don't understand that. I don't understand that. So now, now that we've done that, I'll need another crafter. So hopefully, I can get uh, the crafter auto uh, auto thing now. So let's do crafter. So we need basic processor. So basic processor is this. Uh, so I do want to teach the system how to make those. So this to this to this. Uh, do you not, will you not let me do that? Do you not let me teach it? Yeah, there we go. We'll make that the basic processor. And then we'll go back into processing. We have a basic processor. No, I have the regular processor. Actually, I have a whole handful of them. Wow. Uh, so let's go down here and say, uh, basic processor. There we go. Teach it how to do that. So now we can come up here and say this turns into one of these. 
Boom. Oh, we already taught it how to do that? Oh, we taught it how to make the basic processor. Now we just taught it how to do that. So now we do need another crafter. So let's do that, this wrong thing. All right, construction, destruction. And then I want to teach the system how to make the baby, uh, the, uh, uh, you have to make sure it's out of processing mode. Otherwise it doesn't, it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it at all. That, so I should be able to craft some of these, craft two of these, please. There we go. And I'm just going to burn them while we're up here. No sense in running downstairs just to burn two. It's going to burn relatively quickly. And then we should be able to grab another crafter, which we need one of these, which I need to teach the machine how to make. Like so. All I should do, be able to do now is just uh, do this, this, and a, another crafter. Eventually, we're going to make it to where we don't really need these these basic, these baby, what I call baby crafters. Because eventually, we'll get around to, to making it better. So, let's put this bad boy here. No. No, let's not put it there. Put it here. That works. So, this one goes in there. This one will go in there. Um... This and I go in here. And then this guy, because it needs to be burnt up, goes in here. Yeah, that should work. And then now... Should be able to put this away. Put all the tiny charcoal away. And if I ask for... Uh, tiny charcoal, we have a bunch of it. So now we need an exporter, which we have one, which is awesome. And we're going to need our tiny charcoal. Tiny. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll dig underneath here. Oh, look at that. How, how quaint is that? It's kind of like I did this on purpose, but I didn't. Move that torch, pull this cable up like this, and then I want to get down here and do that. And then I want you to export tiny charcoal, and it should, yeah, look at that. It's filling up quite nicely. So now it should have power no matter what. And this is like the fastest furnace in the game, as, as far as I was told. So now what we need to do is we need to get an export or importer, whoops, wrong way. Hopefully we have an importer. Or we can make one quite easily. Yes, we just need a de destruction core and a improved processor. Which I do want to teach the system how to make. Like so. Also want to teach... The, oops. Uh, what was that? Slime? No, 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 no. That was... Processor... Yeah, these guys. I want to teach it how to make these. Just, just slime ball. And then eventually I want to turn it and make, teach it how to make slime balls as well. So that way, it just if it ever needs anything, then it can just make what it needs. Uh, so we should be able to have that quite done. There's a gold processor there. Put that in there. It's slowly going with automation. Slowly going with automation. So, uh, processor... Yeah, we can get us one crafted. We're missing silicon. Uh, all right, crafter manager. Yes, we need two crafters. I still haven't taught it how to make a crafter, which is, ha. Uh, should be able to teach it though. We should have all the components. Uh, patterns, please. Yeah, can I get 10? <gasps> yes, make 10 patterns. So now we now we have taught our system how to make the patterns. I think we know how to make the destruction. No. Uh, it knows how to make the advanced processors, I think. Processor. It knows how to make the 
basic ones. Yeah, it just doesn't know how to make the knows how to make the raw. So what we'll do is we'll take let's get it to craft one of these. We're still missing silicon. Uh, we've got plenty of silicon. What are you doing? Got that kind of silicon too. Maybe, maybe I need to do it or dictionary. Let's grab this guy. Yes. Actually grab all of them to make sure that they're or dictionaried completely. Because it, it looks like it, it grabbed the the silicon it wanted. So let's put this in here. And then say or dictionaried. There we go. And we'll put this in here. Say or dictionaried. And create it. And this guy. Or dictionaried. Create. Awesome. Now we'll be able to put put one down there. I also, while I'm down there, I do want to make one of the diamond ones. Um, is it the processor? Advanced uh, processor. This guy. I need to make one so I can cook it up. And that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to get water in the mix. Because if I can get somehow get this water to be stored in the ME system, I could tell it, hey, two string and a, uh, one of the little rice balls to make slime actually, you know, makes slime balls that it can be used. Uh, put this thing in there, cook it up. Uh, what is this? This is the crafter, so I do want to put the crafter in there so it basically teach, it, teach itself how to make one itself. Just in self -ception. So now that we've got that, so we can grab one of these. And then we can say, go up here, crafting pattern. So process. Take off or dictionary. This. This. Do we, do we get our patterns? Um, yeah, we got our pattern. Okay. So now I should be able to throw that in the system. So anytime it, I, I call for a processor, it should be able to make it. And then we'll put this bad boy in here. No problem. So now I should be able to ask for a crafter. It says it's missing the construction core. It should be able to make those. Just taught the system how to make that. No missing construction core. Maybe I forgot to teach it how to make a construction core. Construction. There we go. Teach it how to make one of these. It knows how to make the silk. Uh, whoops. It knows how to make the, the... Well, let's get out of processing, and I want to teach it how to make that. Yes. Uh, destruction. It doesn't know how to make this, so I will teach it how to make this, just in case. There we go. So I have to put those in there. We'll just run downstairs. So that way, this should be able to make it easier for me not to have, you know, run back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And eventually, there is a way from Storage Reborn, uh, or Reborn Storage. We can make a giant CPU, but I don't think we have the resources for that yet. So if we say Crafter now, should be able yeah, start to make the Crafter. Technically, I need another one, so that's two. So we can look over here and see that it is requ uh, both of these are requ crafting. Sheen doesn't accept items. Sheen, you don't accept items. What if you do you accept from the top? Hmm. Let's see if this. Let's see if I can make this accept it from the top. Because I know a lot of these machines are sided. So if I put this down there. Put these back in here. Do you accept it that way? Let's go back upstairs. Cancel the craft. We cancel all. And say crafter. Does it make now? Uh, I do need an importer though. I think unless we just did the importer Let's go down here and check it it made it this is exporting the uh exporting things so we do know that 
putting the crafter on the top works. So now we just need an importer. And we need this uh, gold or processor. Need one of these. And then we'll go ahead and cook it up here. There we go. Make ourselves an importer. Then we'll just put it right next to it to import the items that it did make so that the craft becomes clean. Uh, it looks like there is... I need to get back there. It looks like it needs a torch back there. I don't want creatures spawning back there. I mean, I guess I technically could have put, like, blocks in there, but... Nah, torches are okay. I don't mind torches being on the floor. So now we should see... That work you will you pull from the side here oh no it's pull, trying to pull uh, it's trying to pull from the thing so is it over here that you'll pull maybe we need to blacklist let's do it this way maybe we need to blacklist tiny charcoal Give me one of these, please. Okay. We'll put that in there. And we'll... Blacklist tiny charcoal. We have an exporter down there. And we're, we have this guy. Blacklist mode. Tiny charcoal. So it shouldn't try to pull any tiny charcoal from the system shouldn't doesn't mean it will but it's not pulling from here so i don't know what side it pulls from uh do you pull, pull from the bottom uh exporter importer and then we want to blacklist that what sucked it in so i guess we just have the exporter of the tiny charcoal here. Will it work there? So if I take a stack, that works. Okay. So apparently it has, it can only accept items from the top and can only output uh, items from the, uh, to the bottom, which is not, not, not bad. I mean, as long as it works, it works. I'm not going to complain. So we should be able to see, yep, that worked. So we should have a crafter. We do. All right, grab that one. Get it to make another one. It should be relatively quickly because crafters are pretty easy. So now we should get a crafting, a crafter monitor. Or crafting monitor. Is this it? Yeah, crafting monitor. Which, no, I don't want a crafting monitor. I want a crafter manager. Crafter manager that's it so we need two of the advanced we need a machine core so we should be able to teach the system how to make the machine cores yes we did and it knows how to make uh, all the components prior to that so this should be quit pretty quick we should know now how to make processors especially the diamond version so we need two of these please boom boom and let's see crafter manager that's what we're missing just the quartz all right quartz let's go ahead and see if we can't craft another 64 we are missing iron mm, i know what i'm working on next can i just make one yes i can make four so this should be the crafter manager that we were looking for so now we can see all the crafters in our system uh, we can see what's hooked up to the ultimate furnace, so we don't have to keep going up and down, up and down, up and down, all the way, everywhere. Uh, so that's better. Okay, so back to the task at hand, what we left off last episode. We were trying to make squid. We're trying to find a way to get a squid. Uh, we do now still need our, compre uh, our capacitors. Should have these on autocraft. Yes. So we need two to make one and then four so we need four of these total we should be able to get these quickly 
And then the uses of this should be quite clear when we go here. Teach it how to do that. Should grab two. And then the uses of this to make the ultimate. Where is it? This guy. Yeah. Alright, so we still we need uh energized energetic alloy. Let's grab two. We need some ender pearls. Two. And then we need a glowstone. Glowstone block. Which is chiseled. Which I should have my chisel. Chisel. There's my chisel. Uh, what? Wrong way. It goes there. There we go. Chisel this, please. Anything. Doesn't really matter. And then we'll go downstairs. Now, eventually, I will have all of these machines, like, auto-crafted. But for now... Whoops. No, 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 no. Oh. What did you make? Ender Pearl Powder. Whoops. Wrong machine. Ah, uh, happens. At least we have other Ender Pearls. There we go. Right machine this time, Dragon Well. There we go. Should be able to make that. All right. Uh, I did receive a comment uh, about our little uh, thing down here. Uh, it has to be solid blocks all the way through, like the ocean. Uh, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to grab my water. And I'm going to do my best to fill this thing in. I don't know whether or not I should... Uh, Try to like to suck up all this empty. No, whoops. Need to fill, and that that's that's it. Um, I mean, I guess what I could do is just start here at the bottom, but it might be easier for me to drain the water first, and then do that. So, what would what would I need to upgrade you, sir? Uh, upgrade you. Do you not? How do you, how do you upgrade this thing? Reservoir. So let's look up reservoir. So to upgrade it to a hardened reservoir, just needs a piece of glass, two invar, and some copper. That's it. We've got that. We've got that a lot. We should be able just to put that in there. Yeah, it holds a lot more now. It holds up to 40 buckets. So, what about this? Can Do we have... We got Electrum, we've got Invar, and it needs hardened glass. So, what is hardened glass? Oh, yeah, this little concoction. Pyrothium. Do we have the ability to make that just yet? No. All right, we should be okay with this. With it being hardened. And we should be able just to... Pick up all of the water sources. Granted, they don't make infinite amounts. Or what I could do is to be smart about it, I could do this. And where are all those source blocks? There we go. Source blocks, we got them all. It's just going to go all the way to the bottom. There we go. Now, I don't know how deep this thing is, but in order for me to be able to make uh, the thing deep enough, I've seen... I, I have seen like squid spawning things as shallow as this so let me let me fill all of this back in maybe if it probably be better if i went and grabbed a wand i know we got a, a bunch of wands yeah we've got a bunch of wands um we've got an iron wand that's that's a little underused and we'll grab some cobble 
grab a few stacks to fill that in. Uh, so that way we don't really have to, to do much work at all. I do want to fill this in. So that way we... Oh, no, 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 not that. Oh, silly. Silly me. Oh, well. We can always cook it back up. So if we do this... Uh, I'll have to fill this in by hand. So that way it knows I want to put cobblestone here. And not stone. Yeah, there we go. And then it's dead. We fill this thing back in. If I do have to open this back up, that's why I'm putting cobble in here. That way I don't necessarily have to uh, go out of my way and break all the stone that we you know, use resources to cook up. So this shouldn't be, shouldn't be too difficult now to fill in with water. So now we'll empty. And they all have to be source blocks. We can just get this really calm. Looks awesome. So now we can fill. Fill this thing all the way up. Awesome. So now what we do... And I don't know if this will work, but I need to... Force block this here to here. That should make that infinite. Here, that should be infinite. One in the corner. There. There. And all of them are source blocks now. Awesome. So now I need to put one there. And it's just if I can just float, be okay. There, one in the corner. There. Can I do it from up here? No. Not yet. And I'll put one... Whoops. There we go. There, and then one in the corner. There, and that all should be source blocks. Okay. So let me land. Oh, boy. There we go. Now, I should be able to do this from over here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let us put this there. I don't want to disrupt the water. I reach over there? Not yet. I reach there, though. So, there. Whoops. Get some more water. Let's see. Fill. Should be an infinite source. Granted, I go really, really slow because I can accidentally pull up the source block from the bottom. There we go. Now I can empty, and then there. There. Actually, technically, I could grab that. Empty there. And I need to go there. And we put source block there, and then one in the corner. Then here, here, and then here. There we go. All source blocks. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. We want to do this, and then that to get on the other side. So be right back just a second, and I'll get this all filled up. Ta-da! There we go. That should that should suffice, according to what I've read. That should suffice to producing a squid, but we will find out. But since we already have this guy here, and uh, we're working on getting it upgraded, we should have a squid here momentarily, and then we can get our uh, our thing. So let's get our double guys. Yes, 
uses for you. And I want to make this. Yes, octadic capacitor. Right on. So let's put this stuff away. Grab some more stone. Which I do want to teach it how to make. This stone is awesome. Uh, okay. So we should be able to come over here now. Put this in here. Click, click. Now, if what this guide says is true, this should make us... Like, I don't know why it doesn't show that. But to make a squid... Make a soul vial of a squid. It just says, enchantment cost is four. We have that. Just a Z-Logic controller. Doesn't say anything over here, which turns into a vial with a squid. So hopefully... And then we need to put experience in there. Can how do we how do we do that? Um Yeah, it doesn't show that recipe. So maybe that was a false thing. It won't go in there. Does it need a soul vial? If so, we can make one. Or we should be able to make one. Soul vial. Yeah, this thing right here. So it needs fused quartz. So we're going to need some quartz. Let's grab half a stack, I guess. And we'll need to put it inside this guy here. Oh my goodness, that's going to take forever. Do you make fused quartz, sir? Say, is there any... What other ways? Fused quartz. Is there any other way to make fused quartz? Just in an alloy smeltery? Okay. Okay. So what we may do in the future, or very, very soon, is upgrade this guy here to make... Like, to go faster. Because this... This slow. This is really slow. Like, super slow. And this should work. I don't know why this is not working. Always active. I, I guess... I know it needs experience, but I don't know how to add the experience to it. Um... XP... What is our... What is our solidified XP? We have an XP obelisk. Uh, I know it probably needs... Liquid XP. Uh, do we have the ability for an obelisk? We have an XP obelisk? We do. We should be able to make this. We, ha we have the ability to make this. So there's the experience rod. What does this do? Right click on a fluid tank containing XP liquid to gain experience. Shift right click to transfer levels to tank. Okay, so let's get ourselves a tank. Ooh, I put that on there. Uh, fluid tank, we have the ability to make this. Yes, we do. So maybe all we gotta do is this. And I can do that. I'm gaining my levels back. So freehand it, figure to not pull, push. And then you pull. Is that going to work? Maybe I need a soul vial. So did you make your glass? You did. I got three pieces. Exactly how much we need. That's that's ironic how much we, uh, that we got that. So let's get our soul vial. Let's do that right here. Hopefully this works. I'm crossing my fingers. Yep, it doesn't work, apparently. The z Lodger goes in there, but I can't get the experience to go in there. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. What if I grabbed a bucket? 
that work? Whoops. Fuck it. We grabbed a, grabbed a bucket of liquid XP. So it's got four levels. Got eight levels, or seven levels, it needs eight. Got nine in there now. Hmm, can we pull that experience back out? Yeah, we can. Okay, I guess that I guess that doesn't work. Why why would it tell you to do that? Oh, okay. So if we get a soul vial of a zombie villager or a zombie, we can make a Franken zombie thing. Oh, okay. Well, that was uh that was anticlimactic. So we basically made this machine or nothing and I thought that would work I thought that would work unless unless I'm reading this incorrectly it is a soul binder that we need it just needs a z-logic controller it produces a soul vial and a soul vial of a squid all right let's go down here do we produce any squid yet Nope, no squids. Ugh. This is, this is all, oh, it's not cool. Could have swore we were able to get that. Oh, so close. So close. I mean, maybe, maybe some of these recipes are broken. I mean, because it is a soul binder. It is a soul binder. And the Z-Logic controller is made as such. And we have that Z logic controller well 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 I guess what I need to do now is just wait for this to produce a squid and I don't have no any other way to do that except for just go far 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 away and hope the squid spawns in so Oh, at least we did do a little bit. We got ourselves auto-crafted. Uh, just a tiny touch. Nothing nothing too majestical, but nothing too, you know, out of the ordinary. We are able to do some basic auto-crafting uh, using that furnace. And it, as far as, as long as the, we have wood, we have tiny charcoal. And as long as we have tiny charcoal, or as long as we have wood, we have charcoal. As long as we have charcoal, we have tiny wood. And, yeah, so as long as we have all that, we should be able to do what we need uh one last look is there a way to increase spawn rate <clears throat> water candle can we make this cyclic i wonder if that would work i'm gonna make one right before we end this episode hopefully that will help and we'll throw it down there in a, like, the, the well-lit room. And hopefully that will keep us from getting mobs down there. Water candle. Uh, I don't know if I need my flint. The flint and steel. And we'll just light it. There we go. It's really well lit. It should not have any issues at all. It just says increases spawn rate when lit. So increases nearby spawns when lit. So hopefully this will help as long as I'm out of here. And next time we come back, uh, we either will have one or not. Uh, if we don't, then we'll have to find other means of getting another squid or finding a means to get a squid or uh, if we don't get a squid or we can't seem to get one then we'll start working on chicken resources uh, I do know that a lot of you wanted me to do 50 50 
there are some plants in this uh, in the myth mystical agriculture line that have to be grown with um, with mythical agriculture. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to do our best to grow the ones that need to be grown and basically do like 50 50 with the rest. Uh, I do know that I want uh, the chickens are extremely fast. Um, so we might do things uh, like that with uh, with items that we need the most of like iron, gold, possibly copper, uh, quartz. Things of that nature, so that way it it, it will uh, undo or make the uh, the whole situation, the whole thing we have down here, this whole setup here makes that irrelevant, and we basically could like replace it with chickens. So that sounds like something we could possibly do. I sound that sounds like fun to me. So tell me what you think down in the comments down below. I will be more. I'm more than happy to hear from you. I love the comments coming on. I love uh, love the ideas you guys you know you know you say hey this is how this works and i'm like oh okay cool so you guys are not only helping me out you're also teaching me some stuff that i didn't ever know and that's awesome that's awesome and i'm also apparently teaching people you know different ways and different ideas of how to how to do something uh you know other machines and things of that nature but anyway thank everybody so much for watching if you did enjoy the episode please do remember to give it a big thumbs up if you have any comments questions or concerns or any tips tricks or any other things that you would like me to build in the series in the future please let me know in the comment section down below other than that thank you again so much for watching until next time see you later